A rectangular piece of wood that measures 13 by 15 by 3.78 flow, floats face down with a, in a fluid with a density of 893 kilograms per cubic meters with 2.93 centimeters of the 3.78 centimeter dimension submerged. What is the density of the wood? Wow, this is hard. Okay, so let's draw a picture of this. So here is the surface of the fluid, right? And it's more than half, right? So let's go. Okay, so this is, is uh, 2.93 centimeters is this dimension here below the water, right? And then this thing measures, it measures, uh, this is 0.13 meters, this is 0.152, and of course this is 0 0.0293 meters below the surface, right? Okay, and this fluid here has a density of 893 kilograms per cubic meter, right? Okay, what is the density of the wood? Oh, okay, this isn't too bad. So the density of the wood is going to be the mass of the wood divided by the volume of the wood, okay? Now the mass of the wood, the volume of the wood is easy. It's just 0.13 times 0.152 times 0.0378. Right? The volume is, is easy. The mass, we got to figure out, right? But notice that we know how far it sticks into the fluid. And we know that it floats when it has displaced a mass equal to its own mass. Okay? So, are you ready for this? We can figure out the mass. The mass will be how much water is displaced. Of displaced water. Oh, displaced fluid. Fluid. I always call it water, but it's in this case it's not water because it's less dense than water. It's probably some alcohol or something. Okay. So to figure out the mass of the displaced fluid, I'm going to go uh, density times volume of the displaced fluid. Right. I'll call it D. Right. Of the fluid. Okay. And the density is 893 uh, kilograms. Right. And then the volume displaced is going to be 0.13 times 0.152 times the amount that it's stuck into the liquid, which is 0 0.0293. Okay, so we got this. 893 times 0 0.13 times 0 0.152 times 0 0.0293. Okay, so the mass of the fluid displaced is 0 0.517018 kilograms. That's the mass, right? Okay. Uh, so now we're set. Now we just have to divide by the volume, right? But the volume is easy. It's just uh, this times this times this. So let's go ahead and do it. The mass of the wood is the, or the density of the wood is uh, the mass, which is point. 517018 kilograms divided by the volume, which is 0.13 times 0.152. Has to be the whole volume, right? Divided by, uh, times 0 0.0378. All right, so divided by parentheses, 0.13 times 0.152 times 0 0.0378. And I get 692 kilograms per cubic meter. All right, now, now that we've done it that way, this is the good, upright, uh, socially responsible way to do it, right? Uh, let's imagine that we're just you know, in a bit of a pinch here, right? Okay, remember that, um, you know, if you think about this, right? If, if this block had half the density of the fluid, half would be submerged. If it had all the density of the fluid, same density as the fluid, all of it would submerge. If it had a quarter of the density of the fluid, a quarter would submerge. If it had three quarters of the density of the fluid, right? If, it, if the density of the wood was three quarters of this fluid, it would float with three quarters of it submerged, right? So you can set up a little proportion here, right? The density of the object over the density of the fluid is the X submerged 
over the x total. Shall we use that to just solve for this, right? So the density of the object is what we're solving for. The density of the fluid is 893. That's going to equal um, the amount submerged, so 2.93 divided by 3.78. So let's take 893 times uh, 2.93 divided by 3.78 and in a fraction of the time I arrive at the object's density being 692.19 okay so you know there you go